The first digital camera I ever purchased, and I believe I've mentioned this before in other videos, was a Sony Mavica FD71. Oh, if I got that model correct. Uh, it recorded images onto a floppy disk. <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, the reason why I ended up with that camera is because I didn't think uh, the serial connections between cameras and computers were all that stable or useful and was really a clunky experience by and large. And taking photos onto a floppy disk, well, everybody has a floppy drive. and So I thought, well, I'd rather sacrifice the quality of the photos for compatibility reasons. That was the reason I ended up getting a Mavica for my first digital camera. Now a question came in just today from Andrew's Girl asking what is the best digital camera to get and that is so subjective. Now I just outlined the reasons why I decided to get the Mavica and in fact I ended up buying three other Mavicas after that and by the time uh, the third one had run its course, I believe an FD95, which also recorded on floppy, uh, USB was becoming the standard, and I ended up upgrading to a Sony DSC S70. Now, th this time, the biggest media format capacity that you could get was 128 megabytes, and uh, I, that was expensive at that, um, and I didn't mind because I didn't have any other removable media products or products that had you know supported either compact flash or memory stick or uh, what's the big one um, it's flat smart media which I always thought was really stupid um, and you don't really see many smart media products around anymore the uh, the whole idea behind which is the best digital camera to get it all boils down to you what do you want out of a camera. Most people say, oh, I just want to take pictures. Well, what kind of pictures do you want to take? Do you want to take pictures uh, largely in dark locations uh, where you don't have a lot of natural light? Um, well, then you probably want a camera that shoots better in low light situations. Uh, do you want to take video as well as still images? Well, then you might consider a better hybrid type of camera. And most digital cameras these days have the ability to shoot both video and, and, uh, well, and audio and photos as well. Um, I would recommend a hybrid camera if I was to uh, recommend a, a digital camera type outright because you know you may be out and about and you're thinking, man, I wish I would have brought my video camera. Well, if you've got a digital camera that supports both video and photos, well, then you've got both in the palm of your hand. Now, I've you know just recently upgraded to the Canon TX1. I've been a Canon user for many years. In fact, I've got the Canon SD. Hang on, S SD. Hang on. <laughs> I can't remember the name. Oh, S2IS, sorry, and the SD700IS, um, and I've had those for a while and then upgraded to the TX1 recently. Uh, you know what? I, I, I enjoy certain things about the TX1, but it's awfully grainy in low light situations. The noise is really, really bad and really noticeable. Um, the flash is too close to the lens, so red eye is a major issue. Um, but it, the video is pretty outstanding. I, I'll give it that. Uh, it shoots a, a high definition video, um, so and it does at 30 frames a second. So it's really closer to high definition video, and it fits into my pocket. And that's the big reason why I wanted a camera like this. Uh, fits in my pocket, and I've got the swivel lens. And so, as I had mentioned before in an earlier review, that fits my lifestyle. You may be completely different. There is no one right or perfect digital camera or manufacturer. Uh, since I have a lot of products around here that take SD and some uh, some take uh, different media formats altogether um, beyond SD, uh, I've got, I think, one product that still takes compact flash that records audio, my M-Audio device, like a, a, an audio recorder. Um, then this camera takes SD. Uh, my PSP takes the memory stick. Oh, God. So, you know, you, you, there are a lot of choices that you really have to, to wade through before you ultimately decide on a camera. Uh, before you do purchase a camera, my recommendation is go over to your favorite photo website, um, and I'm just going to name Flickr because I know it works there, and do a search uh, based on camera type and look at the kind of images that people are producing with that camera that you've got your eye on. And if you like the images, you, hey, that's good. If you don't, then it's like, well, are they bad photographers or is it just a bad camera? Well, I'm of the opinion that uh, it's not necessarily 
the lens itself that makes a good photo, it's the eye behind the lens that makes a good photo. Good photographers, uh, you know, of course, want great equipment, but uh, ultimately it boils down to what your mind's eye sees um, and then what it's able to output using the camera as the natural or, I guess, unnatural extension of your mind's eye. Uh, well, not to wax poetic or philosophical with that, but it is very much true. If you can't take a good photo with uh, an expensive camera, buying a more expensive camera isn't necessarily going to help you take a better photo. Um, and as long as you understand that, uh, you know, spend as much as you can or what's within your budget. Never cheap out when it comes to hardware. I've always said that. Uh, Sony produces good cameras. Canon uh, produces good cameras. Nikons as well. Uh, out of all of them, I appreciate uh, different bits and pieces. I don't think I'll ever buy another Nikon camera again. I had way too many issues with the software interface. I had grown accustomed to Canon's very easy to use interface and just as easy to use uh, you know, beyond Canon as, as well as the power uh, is the Sony digital cameras. Uh, and I, I don't know, at some point in the future, maybe I'll go back to using Sony digital cameras. Uh, but for now, I'm fine with Canon. Everybody's got a different opinion. Uh, you know, try uh, uh, holding on to a camera if you can. Um, you know, don't just buy it sight unseen. Just say, oh yeah, it's got great specs. Because you may look at it and say, wow, it, it does 84 megabytes of uh, videos and photos. And you're not really understanding what does that mean? 84 megabytes. That doesn't even make any sense. Well, oh, I, I was I was misreading it. I'm sorry. It was is 8. 8.4 megapixels. Well, what, is, what does that mean? Well, that means uh, that the camera can take a photo, um, well, in theory, without using any kind of digital zoom or software zoom at, at 8.3 uh, megapixels. So that, that many pixels. Um, 8 million, well, 8 million 300,000 pixels in a photo, which is a really large photo. Um, that's overkill for a lot of people. You know, I mean, if you're uh, just planning on putting the photos on the web, a three megapixel camera is fine. Uh, if you're planning on printing photos, five or six, anything beyond that, and it's likely a bit of overkill. Uh, I'm sure if you're a professional photographer, then you're not even questioning on, well, which camera do I go with? Because you're kind of into it. But if you're not, and you just want a camera to knock around, uh, I'd say minimum, spend $300. And then, of course, if you can, go higher than that. A maximum, I don't think there's a point of maximum, but I think most consumers slash prosumers are going to be fine within the range of 300 to about 500 maybe $600. Uh, and anything below that or above that may be either not a good camera or too much of a camera for you to be able to handle. If you got a different opinion, different idea, uh, websites that you recommend for doing research on digital photos and cameras that take those photos and, and good guides for helping people decide which digital camera they should get, by all means, leave a comment, follow up, remark, whatever. I'm sure people have got so many questions and so many answers uh, for anything related to digital photography. It's just such a hot topic. Uh, Leave a question or comment or either one in the thread or swing by the chat room and ask more questions or leave your particular suggestions. We're always there at live.perillo.com.